Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel Excel Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yako and this channel content has to do with Corel Draw, Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. If you visit my channel, all you have to do is to make sure you click on videos. And when you click on video, you'll be able to see my present and past tutorial in Corel Draw, Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So all you have to do is to scroll down and see my tutorial. All this tutorial has been made for basic to advance in Corel Draw, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator. All you have to do is to watch the video, learn one or two things, and if you have any question as far as my tutorial is concerned, put your question in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel when you please. So let's get the tutorial started. Welcome back friends, in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can make a standard book cover in color flow. So let's get the tutorial started. First, we need to make a new page size that goes to 5. Then we click on new. So from this point here, this is where you type your design name. Standard book cover. All right. So the next step, you have to come down below here from the width and type your width figure. So the width figure size for this is seventeen points. So you have to change everything to inches. Then you come here to type your width figure seventeen point. 396 now the width of my design and the height should be here which is 11.72 uh, so then you come here and make sure you select your color to the CMYK then your design resolution should always be 300 once you are done then you come down below here and click on OK Alright, that is how you make a page size. So the next step to take is to go to your toolbar and double click your rectangle to make a page border. Next, you have to go to edit, click on copy, then edit again. paste so the duplicate one have to come to the menu bar here and change the size you need to change the width size and don't touch the height size of the design so the width size is 0 0.68 so once you are done with your figure all you have to do is to press enter on your keyboard you are going to have the midpoint of your design so now you can grab your ruler both vertical and horizontal, just to try and guide your layout. Right. So now I'll start my design. And I'll go to my toolbar again and select the rectangle. Now I'll make a perfect make it shape here. Good. And I can make another shape down below here. Good. So to differentiate from the Shape. I'm going to change the color of this to this one here. Good. Now, the next step to take is to look for my pen tools from the tools bar here. Select my pen tools. 
then I'll make it pop. Next thing I'm going to do, um, come down below here and select my smart fit tools. Then I'll fill this place with my smart fill. And delete this stroke. Change this color also. Select my eye color dropper. The actual color here is red. So you can see the color code here. Then I'll drop it down. So one other thing I'm going to do is to import my stock photo here. All you have to do is to go to your menu bar, click on this icon, which simply means import, or you press Ctrl I on your keyboard. I'm using this picture here. Then I press Control key on my keyboard and select this. I'll select this also. And I click on Import Icon. delete this one it's not the right picture we'll go back to my import again so here is the right picture and i'll select it and i'll click on import Take this from one side here. And take this picture also. I'll need to go to my objects from the menu bar here. And I'll select park click place inside frame. And I'll come down here, click this. And from this point here, I'll select edit power clip. Drag my picture here. I click on this icon to finish the edit. Okay, so the next thing to do is to click on this particular picture here, and I'll, I'll go to my object again, or I click place inside frame to place it here, and I'll 
that is for clicking a top position to I'm going to recite the picture. Now, position it. Now click on this icon to finish the case. Good. Next, I will take my picture here. I'll take it to this side here. And I can resize the image. Right. Press Shift key on my keyboard. Drag it out. So I'll go to my tools bar again and select my shape tools. And I'll select this position here. Then I'll use my backward arrow key just to move everything inside the design. So one other thing I will do is to go to my tools bar again. Now I will select my transparent tools. Then I'll go to menu bar and make sure I select transparent on T and I'll drag it down from this point here. Z. Z. Another thing I'm going to do next is to click on the midpoint shape, then I'll fill it with the color here. This color. Okay. 
then I will apply stroke color to the yellow. So I click on the yellow, the stroke color is going to appear. Then I'll go to my stroke color with So I will click on the shape, I will go to order, then I will select front of page. So you need to have it front of page. And let this one also. Go ahead and turn down the stroke width, the airline. Okay. So lastly, now is to type the text into the so if I'm going to do, I'm going to just copy some of my existing text here. So I press Ctrl D. So to duplicate this text, I will paste it here once and for all. So I right click, order, and to the front of page. Click on this, order, front. So, I have this small place. Then, ruler, files, D. I'm going to drag this down here. I click. I'm going to choose order front of page. I'm going to copy this so I'm going to copy this. I'll copy it. Drag it down. Order for the front of page. Finally, copy this. So now, uh, order front of page. I'm going to copy this. Page. So finally, I can delete all this. So I don't need that again. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. I'll copy that here. Order. Page. Good. So I can select all these and I press the So this is how you make a standard book cover in Corel to so in Corel Pro. If you enjoyed this video, please click like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting video tutorial in Corel Pro. Please stay safe. God bless. See you soon. Bye.